Alright, so it looks like we got another Hodge Twins video. Now this one is called Hodge Twins You Are Not Black, I believe. How can you not look at the Hodge Twins and see that they're mixed, but... Okay, I was told to check it out, so we're gonna check it out. I know y'all love the Hodge Twins reaction, so I'm gonna give y'all exactly what you want to see, so... Man! I'm so sick and tired of hearing this, this man. old. Having to address this issue. Shut up! Ow! Ow! Way. Way. Yeah, this is old. What's up, everybody? Hey, I'm man, we get comments on okay. this all the time, and we get a lot of emails. Yeah. People, they would like for us to stop claiming that we're, uh, we're black. Yes, yeah, it's, it's coming and, from... You know, it's not coming from white people. Yeah, it's coming from a bunch <laughs> of niggas, man. That shit hurt my feelings, man. Yeah, my own people, <laughs> my man. My own people, man, trying to outcast my ass. Both my parents, everybody wants us to claim we're biracial. But yeah. see, the thing is, both my parents are black. Yeah. My great grandparents on both sides of my family, they're black. Yeah, black black niggas as far as the eye can see, man, on both sides. Man. Yeah, man. <laughs> but there's some light skinned niggas, man. <laughs> but light skinned, man. But let me let me let me give you a quick history lesson. Now see, yeah. there's a, actually a book written on our family. Yeah, man. It's called it's called The Harrisons, man. The American Family. In the Harrisons? Yeah, and it just goes over the, the Harrison plantation. That was a slave plantation. Yeah. And right where we grew up is where those plantations was. But anyway, long story short, I'm going to give you a quick history lesson. Yeah. Like roots on this bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this is what happened. Yeah, tell them when we went down. Back in the 1800s, man. Back on this Hurston plantation. Yeah. There's this white dude named John C. Cheatham. Yeah. I think he was from Ireland. Yeah, I think he was, man. You know what I'm saying? White dude. He was an overseer on one of the Hurston plantations. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? See, an overseer is the person that's out there overseeing all the slaves, man, making sure they're out there ain't bullshit. Yeah, picking that cotton and shit, man. Yeah, make sure they ain't running off and all that shit. Yeah, it was fucked up, man, but that's how it was back in those days, man. Either you was a slave or you was one of them overseers, man. Right? So this overseer, mm -hmm. he, he, he got his eye on one of them black slaves out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure John C. Cheatham popped up in his head it's like, man, I sure would like to bury my mushroom tip deep inside that black ass and bust my nuts. Yeah, he did, man. He busted a whole kinds of nuts. He had yeah. left kids with that woman. That woman's name was Nancy Hodge, man. Yeah, like, yeah. You it's know what? Right. Pussy, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, John said, fuck all wrestling niggas. You sleep in the house with me tonight. It's not funny. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, you fuck them wrestling oh, niggas. You man. living in here with me. <laughs> but anyway, they had lit, like a bunch of kids. Was little, little kids. kids. Right? And back during this time, man, that was yeah. outlaw. You couldn't do that. So yeah, they couldn't so marry anything. They actually would live in separate houses. But that's where my great-grandma came from, man. It was one of their kids. Great, 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 something like that. Not great, great, grandma, man. Plus, this was outlawed. If they knew this shit was going on, they could have hung John's ass, <laughs> hung them fucking kids and Nancy. Yeah, they hung all that ass. That is true. You know what I'm I mean, it's a different time period. But that's period. the first white person you come across in my family all the way back in the 1800s, man. Yeah, see, uh -huh. I told you, man. I'm one of y'all, man. I'm black, man. Just like you. Yeah, you black motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey. That's it? Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, shoot, man. I mean, hey, man. If people... If people really telling the Hodge... Wow, like, the sound is so different now. If people really telling the Hodge twins that they're not black, come on, bro. Like I said, you can look at them, you can see that they're black, man. I mean, yeah, they got, like, southern accents and whatnot, but those are some black dudes, man. Come on with that, bro. Like... You know what's crazy too? I remember when I was growing up, I used to I used to always hear the same nonsense, man. Based on the way I speak, because I speak proper English, I I guess. I can't even identify to you what that really means. But based on the way I speak, I've been told that you don't act black. It's the most ignorant thing anybody can ever say to a black person. It's it's like if you have some type of education or proper upbringing, you're all of a sudden not black. So I guess what you're trying to say is being black is being ghetto and hood and ratchet. Like, 
And it comes from like within your own community sometimes too. Like the things you hear from your own community is just so sad. Like it's it's so, so sad. It's so stupid and it's very sad. And it just shows a level of ignorance that they have within the community. Not all black people are like this, but there's a majority of black people that'll say that to another black person. If they speak proper English, if they carry themselves in a respectable manner, they will literally say to you, you don't act black and it's so dumb. But that's just my two cents, guys. Maybe I'll go into detail with a, a story later on down the line. So those are my thoughts on the guys. I mean, the Hodgkins are as black as they can be, so I don't really get it. That's all I got.